This is my selfie. Sunday wash. The footage that ends up on the floor at the end of the week. Is this you? Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> this isn't a production. This is my actual life. Albeit you may be lecherously inclined towards me, the power is that I'm commanding your attention. Joy in simple things. There is so much depth to life. And as someone who swims at the very, very bottom in the depth of life, I look up and I see just a bunch of toads poking through the surface. That's how deep people are willing to go. I spent 10 hours making a fucking profound, beautiful video poem about snakes and power and harnessing the power of my divine feminine cosmic energy and the fucking first comment i get is some sleazy guy i'm like i'm bummed for you dude you missed the point and the point was beautiful you can go way deeper the point is about the majesty and the beauty far greater than any one woman could ever contain that exists in the symbolism that is just crawling all over our planet and we have the power to read that symbolism understand its meaning interact with it in that way and really make the most of the gift of life itself you can be entwined with the undulating force of all creative life That's what that video is about. I was recently watching the nerd writer, whose work I absolutely love and admire and respect on every level. And he was talking about how vlogging has come as a response to the reality TV that we were given a generation before, which wasn't reality. It was scripted and orchestrated. And in response now, vloggers are saying, no, I will show you my reality. There's no one producing this, there's no director, I'm everybody. And this is what I'm telling you reality is like for me. Indeed, that's sort of the essence of my work with this vlog. I'm not just going to show you my life reality. I'm going to show you a level deeper than that. I'm going to show you the reality of my mind, which creates the reality of my life. I've been receiving questions about my process. I'm trying to channel divinity, and people are like, what's your demographic? Jesus. But I do think it would probably do me some good to at least consider these questions. I would like to have an audience slightly larger than this. My demographic is Spirits that dwell within biological machinery. Do I have a point to doing this? I want to bring common knowledge of mysticism back to the world. I created a life without seeking any of the details of its form. I only wanted to create the type of woman that would have a life that was full of absolute magic. I want to live in a world where everyone is aware that we're kind of living in this strange simulation. The three-dimensional world is 99.99% .99 empty space, whatever that means. You have to start working from the inside out. I found that secret elixir. You think yourself into the reality you want to be in. You don't just think it, you feel it. I feel myself as a luxurious, elegant, wise, competent, fearless, childlike woman. But before 30 years old, I can say with confidence, I know how to be happy, and it's not that hard. If you think yourself, if you feel yourself, if you convert yourself into the type of person that 
has the life that you want to live. That life will just sort of find itself around you. That's how that works. She's teasing me right now. She makes me grip for my life, and then she gives me a little massage. This snake is so the personification of creative energy, it's... <sighs> That's sort of the essence. Subscribe to my channel. Good things are underway.